Kelly from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Wednesday, April 24th. So the moon is going to be in Scorpio all day. Of course, we just popped off with the full moon in Scorpio here last evening. The day after any kind of lunar event, we tend to feel like we have a little bit of a hangover. There are new perceptions, new ideas, new energies really swirling around, not only in the cosmos, but within us. We have to kind of get focused. We have to get concentrated on really figuring out what actually did get released, what we did change, what we did transform. Now, post lunar event, we do have a calmer day on our hands here, but the moon in Scorpio, again, is still very intense. We are wanting to kind of put the detective hat on to do the work in order to reveal hidden insights, hidden details, if you will, because we're in discovery mode of a deeper truth, of a deeper meaning, of a deeper purpose, if you will, of why we're going through what it is that we're currently going through. The Scorpio energy is deeply transformative super intense in the emotional and spiritual realm. And so something is changing within us, whether we're understanding that or not, doesn't really matter, it's happening. And over the next couple of days, we will become a little bit more aware of all the things that popped off in our soul space through this full moon in Scorpio. Now, today is also the very last day of Mercury being retrograde, which is going to add an extra layer of confusion on top of us coming out of this very potent full moon in Scorpio energy. So there could be some back and forth. There could be some confusion. There could be some dizziness, some disorientation. I am going to encourage you to go ahead, take a listen to the Ascension forecast for this week to understand how these energies are actually popping off in your physical body. Of course, if you haven't listened to that full moon and Scorpio astro forecast that I put out there, you should definitely do that. And again, I'm going to encourage you to do the shadow work that is needed. And of course, you can do that by joining the moon guide. So with all of that being said, relatively quiet day in the cosmos with six different aspects taking place, five of them are going to involve the moon. Before we have any moon action, we have an interaction, a positive one between Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves. So retrograde in this Aries energy, again, interacting in a very comfortable way with Saturn. Saturn, of course, is the Lord of Karma. He rules over roles and responsibilities and systems and structures and foundations, willpower, discipline. And because he's in Pisces energy, trying to wrap up a 30-year cycle, trying to deconstruct the old false limiting belief system, we are definitely pushing the boundaries with, again, removing the old and in the place of the space of the things that we are removing, building up in something new. Now, this is definitely going to bring us a little bit more clarity. We're operating from a grounded perspective, not only because, again, we are in Taurus season, a fixed Earth sign, but Saturn brings a little bit of a reality check and begin beginning to remind you that, again, Mercury is shifting out of the looking back into the present into the future, we're starting to piece some things together here. We're starting to have epiphanies. We're starting to have realizations. And with this particular interaction, first of all, we're becoming a little bit more focused on what is worthy of our time, energy, and attention. We are taking a good look at really revamping, re-editing, revising our inner dialogue, our inner narrative. And we're really kind of, I'm going to say, becoming a little bit more logical and practical with what it is that we need to be building, what it is that we need to be bringing to life in order for us to essentially start building in a different direction that will help us kind of achieve our long-term goals. Now, the moon in Scorpio going to make an inner interesting interaction with first Mars, who co-ruled over that full moon in Scorpio, and then Neptune, Mars and Neptune, both in Pisces energy. So this is some water on water action. Water on water action is very healing, very purifying, very cleansing. When it comes to our emotional realm, when it comes to our spiritual realm, we're changing, we're transforming, we're releasing a lot of the, let's call it heaviness of our past, 
of our memories, of our thoughts, of our emotions. Now, the moon interacting with Mars is definitely going to kind of give us a little bit more intensity to figure out what it is now that we're excited about, that we're passionate about, what it is that we want, we need, we desire. Again, Mars in that Pisces energy, trying to get emotionally, spiritually, intuitively in alignment with the higher truth, a different meaning, a different purpose. We want to pursue a path that actually means something to us that's going to leave an impact not only on our own individual lives, but on the world around us. The moon interacting with Neptune, of course, is going to intensify our intuition. We are definitely aligning with our higher selves. We are downloading new goals, new visions, new dreams. We are seeing where it is that a new creative force energy is taking over, really pressurizing us to see what it is, that, again, that we want to build, that we want to create, that we want to bring to life that is spiritually in alignment with our soul's mission, with our soul's potential that will help our soul evolve. Now, some tougher interactions coming here. The moon in Scorpio going to make a tough interaction, first of all, with that north node in Aries, and then Mercury, who, of course, is retrograde in this Aries energy as well. The true node and Mercury working very, very tightly together. Again, going to recommend that you download that full moon in Scorpio moon guide in order to go through the different aspects on, you know, all these planetary energies, who's teaming up with who, what this means for the collective and of course, how this is impacting your individual lives by taking a good look at where these interactions are taking place in your own birth chart. Now, the moon interacting with the North Node, again, these are not favorable interactions, which means that we're kind of closed-minded at this point in time. We are not seeing the opportunities for growth, for healing, for repairment, because we're sitting in our shadow selves. Sometimes we have to sit in the darkness in order to appreciate the new light. And because we are kind of cluster effed focused on what is blocking us in our, let's call it energy and efforts to move forward, to break free from actually starting something new. We have to identify the problem in order to actually fix it. So there may be a little bit of a pull looking back. There may be a lot of memories, a lot of thoughts, a lot of emotions coming up from the past. Again, Scorpio energy, fixed water sign. And so although we might not be able to see the forest past the trees at this particular point and interaction, the moon interacting with Mercury in this way is definitely going to bring up a lot of the old thoughts, old perceptions, old beliefs, old everything before Mercury is going to go direct and we're going to be able to override that particular inner dialogue, that narrative, that perspective, that perception with something better that is going to fuel our fire in pushing us forward instead of constantly pushing us back. Now, let me also just say that the moon and Mercury interacting, whether it be good, bad, or otherwise, is an illumination on where it is that our heart and our head are not on the same page. This is a tough interaction, which means that our heart and head not getting along at all at this particular point in time. A lot of that is because the moon in Scorpio is holding on to a lot of the emotions that, again, we're supposed to be letting go of under this full moon energy. And Mercury, who's trying to kind of break free from all of that old, those flashbacks that everything in our past is really starting to kind of push us to get over it, to let go of it to grow up, to boss up, to level up, let's change paths, let's change directions. Now, if you find yourself in a situation here today where you are interacting and engaging with people, this is also going to highlight communication dysfunction. And so we are not speaking clearly. We are not articulating our thoughts, our ideas, our emotions at all very clearly it's not going to be well received at all and even more than that if you are sitting in a lot of the agitation energy that should have kind of been illuminated and rising to the surface under this full moon energy you're likely going to project that on the people around you which of course could definitely stir the pot and again mercury is about to go direct which means that the days that mercury is direct and about to go retrograde again dating back to april 1st and in this case retrograde and ready to shift into a direct position here tomorrow 
This is when the energy gets kerfuffled. This is where conversations hit the fan, so to speak. This is where things get messy. And so you want to keep yourself in check for sure, because what you are creating right now is a potential mess that you're going to have to clean up over the next two weeks before we're going to be able to move into new territory and advance on those new ideas with those new thoughts, with that new path, that plan, that strategy. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in Scorpio trining beautiful interaction with Saturn. Saturn, of course, the Lord of Karma in this Pisces energy. So again, we got water on water action. Saturn is keeping us grounded, logical, practical, and very anchored within ourselves, within our perception, within our ideas, within our emotions. It is stabilizing us in order for the moon in Scorpio, very intense, moving through all of the dark thoughts and emotions and memories and everything of the sort, trying to kind of process them from a different level of awareness. Now, we are also thinking about our to-do list. We're thinking about the path, the plan, the strategy that we want to take action upon in order to bring some of our goals, visions, and dreams to life. We want to be productive. We want to boss up. We want to take responsibility and we're kind of empowered because of course that's what Scorpio energy being ruled over by Pluto and this full moon in Scorpio kind of being illuminated to our new personal power. This is us leveling us up. This is us evolving. This is us bossing up. And then we're not having to work so hard for it at this present moment. It's just kind of naturally and organically unfolding. So we are definitely starting to see the pieces come together in order to stabilize our inner realm, because of course we have to stabilize in our inner realm in a sense of completion, a sense of wholeness before we're going to be able to take action and make moves in our physical realm, which spoiler alert is coming at us here in the month of May. So this particular energy throughout the course of the day here today is really just helping us to get focused on what it is that we're moving away from and what it is now that we have a desire, a passion, an excitement to move closer to.